Hi, this is Dr. Alexi. I'm back. I would like to show you how to create a simple sub-VI. Now, sub-VIs are great because they are very modular. They are codes that are reusable and you can also uh, collapse a large uh, software code of lab view in the block diagram into an icon, which I'll show you how. Let's get started. So, still at the uh, our project explorer file I'm going to come to here right under the my first project I'm going to right click I'm going to create a new VI okay so once I have this new VI I would like to do a tile left and right I would then uh, lay a typical while loop structure create a control which is a stop button over here now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a very simple program that converts uh, your temperature in uh, degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. So let's quickly drop two, uh, two thermometers over here. Okay, one here. So let me just uh, resize it. Okay, and uh, I'm going to put a range of say 200. Then I would also uh, make it a little bit larger. Right, this is my thermometer. Uh, I'm going to also properly label it. So this one will be in degree uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, and uh, I will then easily make a duplicate copy of this thermometer. Right click, just uh, select this object, hold on to your control key on your keyboard and then left click to drag. Okay, so uh, I've duplicated another thermometer. This time around, I'm going to change it to be so such that it is in degree Celsius uh, degree C uh, degree Celsius alright so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to navigate down to the block diagram okay and uh, I'm going to do some very simple uh, codes I'm going to put in some very simple codes here I'm going to put on the timing I'm going to put a weight millisecond delay create a, say about a hundred millisecond delay and uh, I have the thermometer over here. I'm going to change it to a control. Right, so degree Fahrenheit. So actually, what is happening is that uh, you need to take a some mathematical function, right? So I have to divide it. This is a divide function. I'm going to right click on my wiring, wiring tool, create a constant. So there is a constant of 5 over 9 okay 5 over 9 so you have to uh, 5 divide by 9 then you have to uh, do a subtraction I'm going to subtract as you can see over here so I'm going to take this reading in degree Fahrenheit I'm going to subtract by 32 right and I'm going to multiply the result of these two this is the multiply function of this input and the output of the subtract functions go to the in input of the next and yeah I'm completed this little code let's take a look at the front panel okay now maybe what we can do is that we also can turn on the uh, digital display so right click visible item digital display okay and then we can try and run this program and we will try to yeah okay so i think it's about there yeah if it's 90 yeah correct so you can see that i've successfully converted a uh, the t temperature of degree fahrenheit to degree celsius right uh okay but now the, the point is uh okay i'm coming back to here i'm going to stop this program now i would like to uh, make this function uh very useful very modular right so what you can do is that you can uh, select uh, this portion of the code, right? This is the part that does the conversion, right? This part here, I've selected this of the operations here, the functions here. We have the divide, multiply, and subtract. And I'm going to go to edit, and I'm going to select this option called the uh, create sub VI. So basically, sub VIs are code that can modularize your function. Uh, here we are. So basically, just now you notice that uh, we have we are able to collapse 
okay, the entire code uh, into a singular sub VI over here, as you can see. So, of course, this current sub VI doesn't have a name. We can always give it a name in, 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 later on. But if you double click on this sub VI, you notice that uh, LabVIEW has automatically created for you a one input and a one output uh, function. Right, as you can see thermometer, right? So this function itself has an input and a sub VI can have the, as you can see over here, the icon and the connector pane. So technically you should edit the icon and change the uh, this proper display of this. Uh. So let's say, let me just quickly uh, make it up properly. Uh. So I'm going to select this delete. Okay, of course you can also look for some of the uh, icons and and. Uh, libraries and different uh, yeah different types of uh, display for example if I pick a thermometer as you can see uh, yeah so maybe you can uh, say this is uh, F uh, to C uh, for example and uh, something like this alright so basically Fahrenheit to uh, degree Celsius uh. so you can actually right click on this and then you have completed creating a simple sub VI with one input and one output also with the proper icon that is being displayed right so this is you could also type this as a thermometer in a degree uh, Celsius a degree C for example something like this all right so I've just managed to show you that you can create a simple sub VI Right, that can do uh, the function that you want. This way, I think there are a lot of advantages in terms of uh, modularity. Okay, you can reuse the function later on, and of course, you also can save this program. So, what I would suggest is that you can save this sub VI and go to File, Save As. All right, so save it inside here, and we will call this uh, thermometer sub VI. Uh, thermometer sub VI. Okay, as you can see over here, click OK. So you have saved this program. This is a sub VI, but we also need to save the main program. Uh, in this case, this is the main program that we have created, right? So let's go and file, save as. Uh, okay, we'll call this uh, main thermometer, okay? Let's say this is the main program, right? Let's call it main, then bracket uh, thermometer sub VI, for example, okay? So there's some different ways of uh, naming convention. So if you can just save it, call the main bracket thermometer sub VI dot VI. So this will be the main program calling the sub VI. So I've completed this demonstration over here. Uh, I will pause my recording. Uh. Thanks for watching.